pulmonary respiration. Respiration through the lungs is called pulmonary respiration. The mechanism of pulmonary respiration. It includes breathing movement, exchange of gases in lungs, transport of gases by blood, and exchange of gas by tissue. Breathing movement. The thoracic cavity is an airtight chamber which is enclosed dorsally by the vertebral column, ventrally by the sternum, laterally by the ribs, anteriorly by the neck, and posteriorly by the diaphragm. Diaphragm is a dome-shaped partition of the skeletal muscle in between the thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity. Breathing includes two processes, inspiration and expiration. Inspiration is the process of intake of air into the lungs. It is an active process. When the external intercostal muscles contract, the diaphragm becomes flat and space inside the thoracic cavity increases. Simultaneously, the high-pressure air from the outside rushes into the lungs. Expiration is a process of expulsion of air from the lung. In this process, the internal intercostal muscles contract and the diaphragm becomes its original dome shape, and the space inside the thoracic cavity decreases, so lungs are compressed and air is expelled out. In females, the diaphragm does not take part in inspiration to prevent injury to the fetus if the woman is pregnant. Therefore, the ribs play an important role in female inspiration, whereas the diaphragm does so in the male. Lung volume. The recording of volume of air movement into and out of the lungs is called spirometry and is measured with the help of the spirometer. The volume of air an animal inhales and exhales with each breath is called tidal volume. It averages about 500 milliliters in humans. The maximum volume of air that can be inhaled and exhaled during forced breathing is called vital capacity. It is about 3.5 to 4.5 liters. Vital capacity is higher in athletes and mountain dwellers and lower in elderly people and cigarette smoking persons. The volume of air left in lungs after forceful expiration is called residual volume. It is about 1200 milliliters. The volume of air that cannot be inspired over and above the normal tidal volume is called inspiratory reserve volume, or IRS, which is 3,000 milliliters. The amount of air that cannot be expired forcefully beyond the normal tidal expiration is called expiratory reserve volume. It is approximately 1,100 milliliters.